Hey guys, it's so good to see you. Welcome back from that completely wild episode that we had last time. I hope you guys all got to watch it because... I oh, got... Damn. That was just... Peak... Final Fantasy IX. I mean, so far, that was the best content. Okay, let me... <laughs> Let me slow down. Let's go back. So Zidane had a talk with Garland. Uh, Garland revealed to Zidane a lot of things, which I'm going to be hard pressed to remember exactly everything. And it was kind of a lot to take in all at once. Uh, Kuja was created to be kind of a collector of souls his purpose is to kind of just murder as many people as he can so that the souls can be siphoned through the Aoife tree as so Garland can, you know, do his whole scheme of taking over Gaia and all that stuff until Zidane becomes powerful enough and then he will become the Angel of Death, bringing doom to this planet that he has come to, you know, call his home and all his friends that he's made along the way. Basically, he was created to destroy them. So learning this information, Zidane kind of goes through a little bit of an identity crisis. He feels like, I, I feel like he feels like an imposter. Um, you know, being buddy-buddy with all these people that are supposed to be, like, you know, should fear him and not trust him. And, you know, he's basically supposed to, like I said, bring about their, their doom. He kind of loses his way, loses his purpose, but in a very emotional and very powerful series of scenes... His friends do what they can to, like, bring him back to them. Um, they let him know that they rely on him, they need him, they accept him, they trust him. And just thinking about it is making me very quite emotional. It was just very beautiful and I absolutely loved it. So they help Zidane to realize that he does belong with them and it's time to stop Garland so that's what we're going to do enjoy you guys danger ahead do you still want to go on yes we're not gonna let Garland have his way there's the observatory you told me you'd become my angel of death. But think for a moment, isn't life death itself? It must kill other life forms to survive. Sometimes it even kills those with whom it shares blood. To live is to give life meaning, yet one must take others' lives to survive. Wait, 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 wait. I've been living for how many years and I haven't killed anybody? I haven't killed anybody. I mean, I've eaten meat before, but I don't need to eat meat or animal products to survive. Hmm. Makes you think, doesn't it? A mature civilization becomes aware of this paradox. Terra's souls will sleep until they forget such nonsense. They will begin a new life in a new dimension. It's a world in which life and death become one. That is the dimension in which we are meant to live, as beings that transcend life and death. Zidane, I ask you one more time. Who are you? You're a sad man, Garland. We know more than you. We're not perfect, but we have friends who help us. That is reason enough for us to live. It took us a long time 
But we've all found we've all found our way. We live not to forget our past, but to learn from it. We may be weak, but that's what makes us work together and help one another. Oh, I love this. Then show me. Lecture me again when you are on the verge of death. All right. Let's go. Show me the fruit of your training. Oh, Freya, right off the bat. Okay, um... I guess we'll just attack. You... Use... Protect... On... Yourself. You jump, of course, since you have trance. And you... Use your fire. Wow, Freya... Didn't realize she get, took so much damage from that hit. All right. This is going to be interesting. We're already off to a great start, guys. I didn't even see what the hell happened. What kind of damage was that? Let's use the phoenix down. I think the dragon's gonna take a turn. Oh, no, no, no. Here. Okay. So he'll revive. And then she'll cure. And then we'll be good. Vivi, keep nuking. Okay, jump! Hurry up and jump. Oh my god. Is it gonna kill her? Oh my god, why? It's wind damage. That one is wind damage anyways. Okay, the new strategy. Okay, revive her. Use Cura. Oh, the return magic. Please don't absorb it. Okay, good. Man, I just really messed up in the beginning, not not healing. Okay, item. High potion. To Freya. Come on. Come on. Okay, here we go. Alright, let's get her up. Please. Oh, I could just use an I could just have dagger use an elixir on her. That would have been a good idea. He's still going to attack before VV does. Is she dead? No. Okay. Yes. Let's keep um let's keep healing with dagger. Come on, Freya. Get up in the fucking air, girl! Oh my gosh, it takes so long for her to jump! 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 Thank you! That's all you needed to do. Ah! Oh, I didn't know she still had a turn to heal. 
I just used an elixir on her. Well, that's fine. She'll get some HP back. I mean, some MP. Okay, um... Oof. Oof! Gosh, auto potion is so good, I regret talking shit about it at the beginning of the game. I realize the error of my ways now, and I do hope that auto potion will find it in itself to forgive me. Shock wave. Oh no. Oh, oh, oh. Dagger will have trance soon. But we don't even need it! I was ready to keep going. But I feel like Vivi was about to die again, so... I'm glad we did it. We did it! And everybody who survived got AP. Now what, buddy? Garland, tell me. What is it you want to accomplish? Wait, didn't he literally explain his plan to you in, like, very great detail? And his reasoning and his motivations. The, restora the restoration of Terra! Isn't it obvious? Yeah, it is obvious. You literally told us that. No! That's what the people of Terra want! Why aren't you asleep with the rest of them? I was created to oversee Terra. Garland was created? To oversee Terra? Who's this creator? Who's this fucking creator? I exist to wait for a time when this world is without life or death. They make him they make him out to be like this huge like power, right? Because he like he literally creates life forms like such as the um the genomes and Kuja and Zidane and yet someone created him for a purpose as well. It's like it's <laughs> I exist to wait for a time when the world, this world, is without life or death. I am the absolute controller of this planet. Ah! <laughs> no, wait. I wasn't ready. Oh, and Vivi, <laughs> elixir, elixir, Vivi. Psychokinesis. We using all our elixirs today. We gonna use them all today. Nobody's dying on my watch. Actually. You're all dying, but you ain't gonna stay dead. Holy fuck. Am I gonna live? Okay, attack. Uh, you, let's use Rice's Wind. You, um, cure everyone. Gosh, why do I kind of feel like I want Kina in my party right now for, um, <laughs> for the, um, Defense, what's it called? The defense wall thingy mabobber. That would be pretty good at a time like this. 
Okay. Okay. Keep attacking. Okay, so... How's this berserk? Re okay, yeah, we did that. Okay, I think you're just ready to jump. Ray is just ready to do her jumping. Jump around. Jump around. Jump up and up and get down. Okay. Uh. Oh, stop. Ah, uh, he has... You can't put stop on Vivi. I have the ability that prevents it. And he threw it back, but of course it doesn't work on him. Okay, Zidane, keep attacking. All right, good, good. How do I make her summons do more damage? Maybe it's just because of her level. She is lower level than Zidane and Vivi, who are doing a lot more damage. Hmm. Yeah. Uh. I don't know. Speaking of Xenogears, Justinian. And hi, Closer. Speaking of Xenogears, I need to pick it up on PS3 store, I think, before this they close the store. Uh-oh. Why are you always picking up my girl? Okay, she's fine. Jump. All right. So far. Nothing too scary. That uh, damage is abysmal. 484 or whatever it was. Really? That's what an Eidolon can do? When Vivi can literally do 2,500, just about. Zidane can just slice up for 3k. Uh oh. Oh god, thank god. Thank god. Gosh, I kind of want to steal from him. Seems like a horrible idea. But I'll I'll give it a few tries. Probably won't get anything good. with that. He is unfazed. I stole some battle boots, which I'm pretty sure I already have a pair of those. Give it another go. I feel like he's got to be dead soon, though. We've been doing pretty consistent damage to him. Everyone's still pretty good on MP. Feeling good. Feeling good. 
couldn't steal anything. One more try. Using it on Vivi. He's immune. Couldn't steal anything. Okay, well, we got some battle boots. It wasn't for nothing. Let's just let's just slice them up. Oh. Oh. Ah, Trance! Ramu did pretty good damage. This is kind of risky, though. She dies. Auto Potion, that's good. Okay, now I think she could probably withstand most of his attacks. She gets hit. Oh, of course. I was thinking he was gonna die before I could use my trance with her. Come on. Come on. You fight well. Give it up, Garland. What the? Oh, that I forgot. I keep forgetting about this eyeball thing. Maybe he's the one that created uh Garland. I don't know. I thought Garland was had power over the eyeball thingy, but maybe not. Or maybe he does. Maybe the creator's some eyeball in the sky that's like 20 times the size of the eyeball we've seen. I don't know. Anyways, here's Kuja doing Kuja things. <laughs> this is too easy. The invincible is mine. Now I have the power to control all souls. Garland gave me everything without a fight. The old fool was too busy dealing with him. Now I know how Kuja feels about Zidane. <laughs> Makes things a bit more interesting. Now, only death awaits him. Poor Garland, bitten by his own dog. <laughs> this is no accident. Fate has chosen me to become the new ruler of Terra. <laughs> Time for me to put on the finishing touches. I must say, I truly love you all. You not only broke the seal to Terra, but did me a favor of defeating Garland. Zidane, you are truly an extraordinary genome deserving of my love. What are you doing here, Kuja? That's not a very nice way to greet your brother. Shut up! You're no brother of mine. Oh, such ferocity. Master Garland, he intends to fight Terra. Kuja, what are you scheming? Scheming? Me? Watch as I defeat these enemies of Terra. Come on now, you may sleep along the souls of Terra. For all eternity! Ah, him too! <laughs> oh no! Oh, 
Oh, geez. Three battles in a row. This is, like, intense. You don't have time in between to heal or anything. Oh, fuck. Okay, no, we're good. We're good. We're gravy. We're gravy and we have auto potion. All right, let's take this guy out quick. And there she goes, into the stratosphere. She'll be back. <laughs> Demi. Oh, I bet it won't work though. Return magic. You call that an attack? I don't know if it's very useful on bosses. This is going to hurt. Who are we after? Ugh, why are you after her? Haven't you... Haven't you hurt her enough? Haven't you done enough damage... To her? Really fucked up. Missed! Oh, hell no. All right, it's time to use some ethers. Pretty soon here. All right, ether up yourself because you have the heals, so you're important to have the MP. Damage dealing comes second to survive surviving. All right, let's send our girl back up in the sky. Oh, Vivi does more damage than Zidane. I, maybe I should have had Zidane use the ether instead of having to have Vivi use it on himself. Oh well. We know for next time. I feel like our leveling up that I did is helping out quite a bit here. All right, Vivi's back in the game. No, to me, Demi's just not a very scary ability. Unless they use it and then, like, a really, really powerful attack immediately after. But, I don't know, the percent damage, I just don't find it too threatening. It's like, no matter what, it can't kill you. Better cure. Better cure. Man, we are just stomping these fights. Like, we just struggled in the fight against the dragon because I just wasn't paying attention to how much damage Freya took. 
because she got her trance, so I kind of got a little bit distracted. And I didn't heal her, and then she died, and then it was hard to get her back alive without being killed instantaneously, but aside from that huge mistake at the beginning... Let's try Leviathan. We've been doing pretty well. damage. Let's keep it up. Thank God for those levels that I got before coming to Terra. Thank goodness. Oh, the, the time is now. Wait, are we not done? Oh my god, we're not done. Another fight? This is the power of trance. Oh no, he's got trance. I'll show you my true power. Ultima! Oh, that looks painful. Okay, I guess we're just supposed to get knocked out by that. I was ready to fight him again. Like, let's keep it going. Yes. This is the power I've longed for. The mighty power of souls. They assault any threat that tries to destroy them. Trance power is the power of souls? Is that what he just said? What? What do you mean? It's trance. You know how it works. But a normal trance won't be enough to defeat you. You're as resilient as Oglops. You're all as resilient as Oglops. Even tiny Moogles possess the power of trance. When I saw that in Gulug Volcano, I came up with a plan. Oh yeah, his tail is showing! I didn't even notice that. It was easy. I just needed to borrow the power from wretched souls that can't die. Where did I acquire it? It was the invincible, or should I say, that large eyeball in the sky? The ship sucked up the souls of the Medane Sari, the Aoife Tree, and Alexandria to feed upon them. When it fought Bahamut at the Aoife Tree, the invincible drew in a powerful spirit. Can you guess to whom it belonged? When it fought Bahamut at the Aoife tree, the Invincible drew in a powerful spirit. And guess to whom it belonged? Well, not Bahamut's spirit. I mean, Braun died there, right? I don't know. I give up. No. Oh, it was Braun. What? Hey, cover file. Hey, love life. And hey, Bale. She was a powerful spirit? That's right. It was your mother's soul. A wretched soul that clung to life to the bitter end. The souls trapped inside the Invincible welcomed me with open arms. They were fed up with being your prisoners, Garland. So, Master Garland, 
you are no longer needed. And after you've worked so hard, I shall rule Terra and Gaia with my unconditional love from now on. What will you do with such power? Master Garland, you of all people should accept defeat gracefully. Oh, right in the nuts. How sad. Any last words? Your power is meaningless. Those were his last words. Oh. Now it's your turn. Should I kill you quickly to show my appreciation for all I've done? Or should I kill you slowly and painfully to show you my love? Oh, I've got a great idea. How's this? I'll make you pillars for my castle. You'll all decorate my castle as a symbol of my eternal kingdom. <laughs> How do you like that? No. Ever. Who's talking? Who's the mysterious voice? I don't know. You could never build an eternal kingdom. Oh, it's Garland. <laughs> that voice! Garland? Did you leave something behind? Do you think a defect like you could last forever? What? What do you mean? I built you to last only until the worthy genome, Zidane, grew. It was too dangerous to let you last any longer than that. What are you saying? There's a limit on your life. You'll all be dead soon. Even as I die, you'll have died without ever leaving your mark on the world. He just had to get the last word in, didn't he? <laughs> what an interesting lie. You're telling me that my life will end soon? <laughs> Nice try, Garland, but I won't fall for your silly tricks. <laughs> Garland? Garland? Answer me! You were created to destroy. You are mortal. A mortal? I'm... Finished? I don't believe you. Why would I believe such a silly story? You're telling me that I'll die soon, now that I'm more powerful than anyone? I'm gonna... Die? Lose my soul? <laughs> What comedy! Zidane, isn't it hilarious? I'll die just like the black mages I so despise. I single-handedly brought chaos. What? We need to make my room soundproof. Uh, you one does not shut the fuck up when they're when they're voicing Kuja. I single-handedly brought chaos unto Gaia, but in the end I'm nothing but a worthless doll. 
Kuja. I wasn't sure if that was dagger or... Oh. Kuja? I won't let it happen. I won't. I won't let this world exist without me. just destroying shit like that well how's that gonna help i don't understand he's just throwing a huge temper tantrum Wow. This place changed to red. Guja, I can't believe him. Zidane, we gotta get out of here before the tower collapses. But how? We need to carry the injured out too. The steel Kuja's ship, the Invincible, is at the bottom of the tower. Oh yeah, but... All right, you guys head for the ship. Uh. I'm gonna rescue the genomes. They're victims. I can't just abandon them. I'm coming with you. Dagger? I don't want you to leave us again. So, I'll keep watch over you. Okay, we should be able to go back through the warp gate on the other tower. Dagger and I will head back to Bran Bal. You guys get us on the Invincible. Okay, let's go. Woo, looks so cool. Rainbow Road. We just need a go-kart. Looks like a teleporter leading to the upper levels. It might take us back to Bran Bell. Whoa. Ah! <laughs> That's what I said. <laughs> What's wrong? B behind you. They're just eyes. It's okay. Let's go. Just eyes? How very bold of you. <laughs> I would be freaked out, too. Um, Dagger? Yes? Um, about what happened earlier. What is it, Zidane? Oh, jeez. I feel like I'm being watched. <laughs> Gee, I wonder why. Just say it. We need to hurry. Um, you came to my rescue, right? And, um, what you said to me, it made me really happy. Zidane. How can I say this? Um. Thanks. Amarant! Hurry! Kina! Hello? I'll no find good food on Terra. Maybe I need eyeball over there! Kina, hurry up or you'll be left behind! I'm happy to leave! No good food anywhere! I think we're still okay. 
Let's evacuate the genomes. Zidane, let's split up! Yeah, I'll go this way. We'll meet up when the Invincible arrives. The freaking chest is still down there, just staring at me! My gosh, this ship is enormous! Judging from our current position, I believe the bridge is that way! Hold it! Where's Kina? From bottom of ship. Why were you underneath the ship in the first place? Save it for later. We must get the ship moving. Ho ho ho! Merry Christmas! <laughs> what are you still doing here? We need to evacuate. What's the point? They're only empty vessels. Stop talking like that. Do you really believe what you just said? Unlike the rest of them, Garland gave me a soul that I might replace you and Kuja. But Garland is dead. Terra will soon be destroyed. What's the point? I asked myself the same question. Did you find an answer? No. But maybe the point is just to try. It's gonna be hard. But I've got my friends. It isn't so bad. Does not compute. <laughs> hey, what's your name? Huh? Garland gave you a name, didn't he? My name is... Mikoto. Mikoto, huh? That's a nice name. A lot of people are going to call you that from now on. You have to find the answer yourself. It'll be hard. But you can do it. Let's go to the new world, Makoto. There you can find your answer. Dagger, where is Zidane? I think he's off screen here with uh, Makoto. <laughs> He'll be here any minute. Just pretend you don't see that, okay? He'll be here any minute. He's looking for the last genome. Sorry to keep you guys waiting. Oh, there they are. Oh, ha, 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 Zidane. Sorry I'm late, but now we got everyone. Everyone on board. Now we must leave immediately. But there's so many chests I didn't get on Terra. <laughs> We made it. Yes, we managed to escape from Terra, but... What's wrong, Freya? Well, I was talking to Amarant about it earlier. You don't think this is the end, do you? Are you talking about Kuja? Do you really think he perished with Terra? Even with his power, it's hard to believe that he'd have escaped unscathed. What do you think, Zidane? What will Kuja do next? No 
he'll probably try to destroy Gaia. But how? There was one thing Garland said. Something about a tree that serves as a gateway of souls between Gaia and Terra. That must be... Yeah. It's the Aoife tree. Everyone! You must come look! Come with me! What's up, Steiner? Can't you just tell us? It would be faster to come see it on the bridge! What's up? They're just clouds. It's not a normal cloud. What? Let's lower our altitude and see. Don't you see? Our altitude is not very high, and this is all we can see! Then what could it be? That's what I was afraid of! Wait, why all this sudden influx of mist? It's mist! It's what black mages are made out of, and what used to cover the mi and what used to cover the mist continent. The mist has covered all of Gaia. That's creepy as fuck. Why? How? Kuja, what are you planning now? Thanks. They were uneasy at first, but I think they'll get along fine. There's no need to thank me. You've done us all a great service. It wasn't a big deal. Well, anyway, everything's gonna be okay. Are you sure it's okay for them to stay here? Of course it is. So, this was Vivi's idea? Yeah. He wanted the genomes to start their new lives here. We're similar in many ways. Maybe we can understand them better, and they might open up to us. Right. He also said, If you guys can get along with the genomes, Maybe humans and black mages can live alongside each other someday. Like you and Vivi. I didn't even know if I truly understood him until recently. We'll take good care of them. Your friends are our friends. Thanks. Okay, so on the ground level, things don't seem so bad. Is this a monster? He's a chocobo, not a monster. He's called Bobby Corwin. Bobby Corwin? Yay, disc four! Finally! Yes! Oh, you gave him a name! Yeah, Bobby Corwin. Isn't it a great name? Sounds great! Bobby Corwin, huh? Quark, quark. <laughs> I think Bobby Corwin likes you, too. It won't bite? Oh, come on. He's just a little baby chocobo. <laughs> Bobby Corwin, no! Come back here! Wow, I think Bobby Corwin really likes our new friend. Can't you just call him by his first name? <laughs> it's Bobby Corwin. Why do you display these items? Why? Why? For the customers, I think. What are customers? Well, they bring money and they hand the money over to the shop, and then... What is money? Money is... uh... Why do you care about small things? World very simple place. World only have two things. Things you can eat. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Kina. Things you can eat and things you never can eat. I mean, he's, uh, he, she. Kina is not wrong. <laughs> um, that is true.
Does the water here ever stay still? Water flows, doesn't it? The water of Bran Bell was always still. Hey, did you know that time flows just like water? So water and time both flow in Gaia? Looks like they're off to a good start. Hmm. <laughs> It's like watching kids play. It's not their fault. They're only just begun they've only just begun to live their lives. Can lost time be recovered? I don't know, but there's only one thing we can do. Of course. We must protect them from anyone who tries to take their time away from them. Princess, is this what you really wish? Hmm? What are you talking about? Kuja must have done something in the Aoife tree to cover the world in mist. Do you not think it wise to consult Regent Sid before the final battle? Final battle? Final battle? Awesome Jar Jar. <laughs> Thank you. You love how this game goes to Kina's shenanigans to deep questions? It's like, why are you thinking so hard and sweating the small stuff? Just be like Kina. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Just live your life the way you want to. Kuja probably plans on destroying Gaia. If I go to Limblum now and tell the regent about it, it might cause a panic. I'm sure everyone is apprehensive about the reappearance of the mist. I need Uncle Sid to protect Lindblom, Lindblom right now. Indeed, we must defeat the enemy on our own. Even if we go back to Lindblom to get equipped, please don't tell Uncle Sid about our plans. Are we ready? Yes, let's go. Who's talking? I need to know! Probably Amarant or some asshole. You haven't got a chance. Oh, it's her. You haven't got a chance. You saw Kuja's power. He destroyed a world by himself. You don't even have a million in one chance of defeating him. You'll all die. Wow! That girl knows lots of difficult words! Doesn't she? She's a bit cynical, but take good care of her, will ya? Her name is Mikoto. She's kind of like my little sister. What? Mikoto, listen to your big brother and make some friends. H how silly. We might be desperate insects to Kuja, but I'll show you how powerful we can be. Even a fly lives for a day! I don't think that's what Zidane meant. Let's go to the Aoife tree. We won't let Kuja have his way. All right, team. All right. Dagger is still so behind everyone. Gosh. It's okay. All right, so... Um... Aoife tree. What do we want to do before... I feel pretty confident in our team and our equipment and stuff. I don't know. Oh, I wanted to go to Treno. This is probably not too important by now, but I have a card that I could give to that lady. Oh, I never beat that monster in the shop in Treno. Yeah, I did not. Who will fight the monster? I guess Zidane. He's got auto potion. Dang, we could have 
We could have fought him. I mean, we could have at least attempted him in like disc two, disc three. Ow! I'm gonna die. Oh, I didn't die. Uh, let's use an elixir. And then we'll try to kill him with trance. Nope. Wait! <laughs> Wait! I forgot about that! Hey, bird! No! We could just kill him with counter attack, honestly. All right. Auto potion, yes. Okay, good damage, good damage. Ow. The only chance is probably to just try it again. And hope it kills him. If it doesn't, then we're probably dead. Well, we do... Oh, we killed him! Yay! We did have a chance, though, with auto life. Wow, I can't believe it. Here's your prize. Yay, I got a circlet. I think I already have one of those. But, yay. <laughs> Good job, Zidane. Alright, now to this lady. That's what I get. Um... This isn't the way. Mini Sid. Dark Matter. Can I bid? No, I don't think I can. I can bid? Okay, well, let me go back. Hold on. I have at least one card for you. Or one whatever. elixir. Aha, I have another one. Okay, cool. Oh, I have more. When the heck did I pick all these up? black belt and that's all she has okay cool okay dark matter nope no ending early tonight at least hopefully not Twenty thousand, you bitch. Oh, I got it. Only twenty K. I said it was forty K. Make bid over thirty five hundred. Fuck no. I mean, for thirty five thousand, no. I 
won! I won that fair and square. It's all skill. <laughs> Apparently it's on sale. Is there more stuff I could bid on? Alright, I'm left with almost 40k. Um, let's see. Don't ever do what Verd suggested. <laughs> Bird, are you trying to sabotage me? Deals damage to the target equip as an add-on. So... Is it a... Ah, it is. Odin! Ah. Odin? Odin! But Dagger's still learning Bahamut. So you know what that means. We gotta go back to our dragons. Or wherever you guys think I should go. Grind. For AP. Uh, 7, 9, and 10 are your all-time favorites in the series. What are mine? What are my top three? Actually, honestly... Honestly, I think mine might be the same as yours. Because I am I didn't finish this one yet, but I know it's top three material. I know it is. You guys need to show me this chocobo thing. Would you guys be satisfied with an hour of chocoboing? Would that satisfy you guys? You'd be satisfied if I did Kina's voice for one hour. Okay guys, so tell me what to do, where to go. Where do I find the yummy chocobo foods? Go to the chocobo forest? I know where that is. It over here. Somewhere. I think that's it. That's it! <laughs> okay, so we land here. This Chocobo is my friend, Kupo. His name is Choco. And this is... Chocobo's Forest! Can I eat it? Unusual to see people here, Kupo. How did you come? I was just wandering around. And I have a lot of things I have to take care of. Like, you know, saving the world, but... Take Choco. You won't run into monsters if you ride Choco. Choco, come here. It's okay. Don't force him. No, if Choco hates, Choco runs away. Choco, come on. Kapo! Fine, I'll just get to the point, Kapo. These are Gasol Greens. You can call Choco outside the forest with these. Find Chocobo footprints near the forest, Kapo. Use Gasol Greens there and Choco will come. Choco likes you, Kapo. You call and he'll come. Please train Choco. Make him strong. Come back to this forest after you call him in the world. I'll tell you a big secret, Kapo. Okay, so... I have the greens. How many... Is one green enough?
Okay, so... I go to the footprints, and then do I use the greens here? Or do I go to get into a fight? the controller. Choco has the ability to seek out treasures and items hidden underground. But I can't ride Chocobos. Will you help me, Kabo? 60 gil per game and you keep all the items Choco get digs up. Okay. Sixty per gil per minute. Okay, move and dig. When you dig, Choco lets you know how close you are to a treasure. When he finds it, just dig, 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 Kupo. Kwe means nothing. Kwe means nothing. Kwe means it's far away. Kwe means you're close. Kwe, kwe means you found something. Rare treasures are buried deep. Once you find something, dig with X until depth reaches zero. Okay. We do it in this place? Or do we go outside? We go outside? No? There ain't shit here. Oh! Que! Que! Found eye drops. I get one point. hell is this fucking thing? Oh. Time's up! Okay. So, I see how it works. Why are you guys saying no? Did I miss something really good? Like... It was a deep one? It was something rare? Oh... Well, we gotta try again! Okay, depth is 40. Stone with patterns. I got 20 points. Special bonus. I get 5 additional points. Choco's beak became stronger. B 
beak is level three. Oh my gosh. Oh, that one's pretty shallow. <laughs> okay, so you guys talk uh, talked about like completing this. What it, what would you guys consider as completing it? Like, is there a certain item that, like a, a like one item that you uh, like the rarest item or something? Like, how do you know when you're done? There's a ton of stuff. It takes about 10 hours. What's this stone with patterns? Can I see, Kapo? There's a picture of some location on the stone, Kapo. This place must have tons of treasures. Why don't you go out of the forest and look for this place, Kapo? It's free of charge, of course. Go outside and press Y while you're riding on Choco to choose which stone you want to find. You can dig with X. I've got idea, Kupo. Let's call this stone Chocograph from now on. Chocograph? I think Choco's been searching for something all his life. There must be tons of treasures, Kupo. You might find some cards, so you should leave some room in your card inventory, Kupo. Okay, so... Take a look at Chocograph. Go check where the river meets the ocean. Where the river meets the ocean. So now I have to find the spot somewhere on this mist continent. 10 hours, huh? They can be anywhere in the world eventually. Eesh. I see. I see. Well, I found the spot. Did they say I'm supposed to look for... Oh no, it's just here on the field. treasure chest I found two elixirs and three high potions and four ethers and two germina's boots wow okay cool let's look for the next treasure do I have to go back to wait what no I have to go back Healing shore. Seen a beach that looks like this near a city with high winds. Is this even the right? Yeah. already all right have a good night can type thank you strange smoke appeared getting sleepy hey what the hell what the fuck is this what in the fucking what we're in some kind of weird psychedelic 
Chocobo Acid Trip. Chocobo Dream World. Those who come here seek companions and a home. Choco, you seek a quiet life with other chocobos. Am I right? Whee! Wanderer, we await your return. Choco, you now have the ability to cross rivers. You can only get to the lagoon through a beach. The road is long, but you have taken the first step. This is very in-depth, isn't it? Our chocobo is blue now. Dun, 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 dun. Where's Manny? I've been away for a while. Who is that Chocobo, Kupo? Where is Choco? I'm not sure what happened, but he's definitely Choco. You're right, Kupo. But why? Oh! Legend was true, Kupo. I'll tell you a secret. I'm looking for paradise on Earth. Only chosen Chocobos can evolve and lead their masters to that paradise, Kupo. Let's evolve, Ch evolve Choco so that we can go to paradise. Kupo! So, where have you been? Kapo! I finally found it, Kapo. There's a place called Salvage Archipelago across the ocean southwest from here. There's an island called Palm... Palmnell. And you can enter the lagoon from there. Check on the map, Kapo! There's holy light in the la lagoon. It's very much like this forest. I'm sure we can find chocographs there, Kapo. Okay, so we did unlock the next... Oh, okay. Okay, well... <laughs> I think I'm done with this. <laughs> like, since I'm not gonna go all the way... And... We, um... I've seen quite a bit of it. Know what it's about. Um, I don't really see any point to continue. I mean, it's cool. It's fun. Again, if I had more time, I would definitely do, do it. 